Hi everybody, welcome back to Loft Legacy. Crime won't crack itself, it's both seasons of Early Doors on DVD. Now if you don't know it, Early Doors was a BBC sitcom in 2003-2004 set around a little backstreet pub called The Grapes, a pub, a public house, a bar in the greater Manchester town of Stockport. Looking back, <laughs> there's some quite famous people in here, and there's people whose careers have gone on to much greater things. Both series are incredibly funny. I'm going to have to talk about each one in turn. Now, on DVD, I actually got this from Oxfam for 99p. And I got this from Music Magpie for not much more, so you can pick them up pretty cheap. I haven't seen them on the TV for years and years and years. So, let's start with season one. So, set in a pub called The Grapes, and around its lovable rogue of a landlord, Ken, played by John Henshaw. Now, I, I think John Henshaw is a cracking actor, and he pops up in all sorts, of street, especially I watched him recently again in the film Looking for Eric. Uh, Northern actor, really good. He, he, he's a guy that makes me laugh. He was, he was the face of the post office for a few years. <laughs> he did all these post office adverts, it was quite funny. It was written by Phil Cash, sorry, Craig Cash and Phil Mealy, Craig Cash of the Royal Family fame. There are rumours that this was going to be an offshoot from the Royal Family, but it, it never transpired. So, Craig Cash's character is very similar to Dave from the Royal Family. And it's all the regulars in this pub. In series one, it's all about Ken, the landlord's adopted daughter, looking for a real dad. Melanie, his adopted daughter, her mum left them. So Ken brought up his adopted daughter, and she wants to look for a real dad. And whilst Ken's very supportive and sweet, he's not at all happy about it. But Melanie's got a boyfriend uh, called Liam, and Liam is better played by a very young Hollywood actor, uh, James McAvoy. <laughs> Ken kind of tolerates him and yeah, yeah. There's, uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking on Wikipedia to remind me, there's Eddie and John Bell, played by Mark Benton, who's popped up in all sorts of stuff, and Lorraine Cheshire, who I believe you call the midwife if you watch it. Janice, there's, there's, who always... Trying to after childcare, played by Maxine Peak, who's become a big star in her own right. And you know, Eddie and John are this kind of slow couple and they meander through life. And but there's also a character called Tommy, played by Rod, Rodney Litchfield, and he's the miserable old oh, that's Tommy, I'll stay on my own, an old guy that sits in the corner of the pub. Now, the the, the title Early Doors comes from when. British pubs had very strict opening hours and they opened for a couple hours at lunchtime and then they didn't open till early evening. And early doors, you know, I think, I think the pubs used, you know, when I started drinking, the pubs used to open at half five and early doors, I think, was when you got there early, you know, the doors opened, the doors opened early. So that's where it comes from. Now there's all day drinking and we, we don't need to bother about that. But... If you if you know Stockport, I used to work in Stockport, and Eddie is obsessed with roadworks, and you go around Piper Street and some roadworks at the end of Bird Hall Lane, and he bores everybody to tears with with roadworks. But the 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 street descriptions are very ex, very exact for Stockport, and he mentions the McVitie's Biscuit Factory. Uh, it's highly recommended. It really is, and the series is all revolving around a a trip. The final, I'm not spoiled, but the final episode, a trip to York races and a gentleman's entertainment ve venue afterwards. I'm not spoiled what happens, but it's, it's interesting. They, they never shoot it in more than a few rooms in a studio. It's, it's very clever how they do it. One of the characters I am forgetting are two bent policemen, Phil and Nige. They're on the two 
Greater Manchester police officers are on the take and spend a lot of their time getting free drinks in the grapes. But they have a, a phrase, crime won't crack itself, even though they are completely useless. They miss solving crimes because they're in pubs and other pubs and basically they have a life of leisure just travelling around doing what they want. So, that's season one. Season two, slightly different. James McAvoy has obviously found some success and... Melanie's got a new boyfriend called Liam, no sorry, Dean, Liam was the old boyfriend, Dean's a new boyfriend played by Lee Ingleby, who I think was in Lewis or something, Lewis, both series as funny as, funny as each other, and this is more about Melanie's met a real dad and develops a relationship with him, and a real dad turns out to be a real arsehole, he's an absolute prick, part of my language. Um, poor old Ken, you know, oh, my real dad is one, oh, isn't he nice? He's, he's an absolute torag. And poor old Ken's in the middle of it. Meanwhile, there's a relationship blossoming between Ken and the barmaid, uh, Tanya. And Ken's mother, widowed mother who lives with him upstairs, is pulling the strings and trying to manipulate this relationship. It's incredibly funny, it's very sweet, it's very light hearted. There's probably more togetherness with the characters in it. I can't I can't split seasons see so I should, should say seasons, not in America. Series one and two. I can't split them. They're both as funny as each other. It is odd to see people smoking in pubs. The smoking ban happened I don't know. However many years ago, but everybody's smoking like chimneys in the pub. It's kind of kind of nostalgic. Being a, being a non-smoker, I don't miss people smoking in pubs. And when when they brought the smoking ban, and you realise how rotten some of these pubs smelt and manky old carpet. So so the grapes isn't the all. It's a it's a, a backstreet pub, and it's nice enough. But they just serve beer. They don't serve any food. So yeah, it's about. The two main characters really are Joe and Duffy, Craig Cash and Phil Mealy who wrote it. Joe's a kind of downtrodden family man and Duffy's having an affair and things happen in that department when his wife finds out. So it's it's quite a soapy sitcom and there are some you know lots of domestic stories running through. But it's incredibly funny. It missed me first time around in this. I, for some reason, I never saw it on TV. And it was my my me wife that switched it on me onto it. Um, it's got a fantastic cast. The, the, it's the the cast. You know, it's, there's not many visiting. You know, there's no guest appearances. It's quite a small contained cast. Uh, and I recommend it. anybody who likes the royal family, anybody who likes northern British comedies, get it. Series 1 is a 12 certificate, Series 2 is a 15 certificate because there are some more adult situations, if you know what I mean. But anybody who likes going in pubs will see some very familiar <laughs> familiar features. And, uh, yeah. In terms of special features, there's an outtake reel, which is not really worth watching, and there's a writer's commentary. So it was written by Phil Craig Cash and Phil Mealy. So they do a commentary for both DVDs. I said, 99p and a, a couple of quid from Music and Magpie. Well worth getting on DVDs. BBC DVD. Pretty much no frills. That's what it looks like inside. Series 1. Series 2. The same. Just a picture of the cast. There they are. Photoshopped. Photoshop cast picture because Tommy is in exactly the same position in series one and in series two, but who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Recommended. See if you can track down a copy. I don't know if it's on Britbox. I, I did get a free trial to Britbox, but I actually called it Shitbox. I thought it was the biggest <laughs> rip off. You know, as as lic BBC license fee payers, we've paid for it once. Why should we pay for it again? And all those moms, I, I couldn't really get into Britbox at all. Uh, Sound-wise, it's in Dolby Digital Stereo, so it is it is of its time, 2002, 
2003, sorry. How many episodes are there? So series one, there are six episodes. And there are six episodes for series two. So very efficient, 12 episodes, 12, 30 minute episodes in total. They did in, I think, 2018, do a stage show for charity. Unfortunately, I'm, I couldn't get to it because of work commitments. Uh, I would like to go on to that. I think it was, it was funny. But you see the characters pop up in various things. The theme tune, by the way, is Small World by Roddy Frame. What was Roddy, Roddy Frame? What, what, what was he in? Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Aztec Camera, for those of a certain vintage. So he sings the theme tune and does some other incidental music. The music's really... The theme tune's a really nice acoustic song. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Just reading here on Wikipedia, place number 91 in the 2003 Britain's Best Sitcom. I think it's... I think it's this this is the underrated classic of British TV comedy. I really would recommend anybody who likes. It's really anybody. It's you know there's no laughter track on it. There are silent moments in it. Just people sat there thinking. So it's not you know whilst it's incredibly funny, there's no laughter track on. So it does kind of get akin to the royal family, although it's not quite as fly on the wall as the the royal family, but. Excellent. Very funny. I'm in the mood to watch this very soon, so I'll be putting this into the play and getting back to the grapes and hearing crime won't crack itself. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe and see you again.